And these concerns start even before birth. The infant mortality rate in Cuyahoga County is one of the worst in the nation, particularly among African-American babies. But those closest to the issue say new data shows how caring for black mothers could affect long-term change. We take care of babies that are no bigger than a can of soda. Early this year, before the pandemic began, we went to Metro Health Medical Center to talk about one of the biggest threats to the health of Cleveland, infant mortality. Dr. Opram Boutros. Our infant mortality rate in Cleveland is equivalent to many third world countries. It is one of the worst in the nation, and especially for black infant mortality, where the um, mortality risk is four to six times that of the white population inside the same uh, region. In 2019, of nearly 14,000 babies born in Cuyahoga County, 120 died before their first birthday. And even when adjusting for socioeconomic levels, 73% were African American. We can't talk about it in sterile terms. These are babies dying. State, county, and city health leaders and hospitals forged a coalition in 2015 to fight back first year Cleveland. And even as the pandemic rocked the world in 2020, that work continued. Since we last spoke, mm -hmm. we've actually, at first year Cleveland, found some significant insights into what's going on. Dr. Boutros said prematurity, particularly micropremies, represent the disparity. The biggest impediment is um, babies um, being born under the age of 22 weeks. That's not survivable. And 90% um, of the babies that are born under 22 weeks are of, for, from black mothers. How does race play a role? Dr. Boutros says often these moms don't have prenatal care. They usually don't have a, a, a physician. Uh, they come to the emergency room and we lose track of them. And these mothers are often dealing with so-called toxic stress that keeps them from carrying a baby to term. It doesn't matter where the stress comes from, the biological response can be dangerous. We kind of encourage them and kind of help esteem them that they can do this. Some first year Cleveland action teams like Metro's Nurse Family Partnership work directly with first time moms. Education that was previously face to face is now remote during the pandemic. Since 2015, uh, uh, black uh, infant mortality rate went down from 18.7 to so far in 2020, uh, about 14.7. Boutros says first year Cleveland is committed to wraparound services and health systems working together to make sure no mom to be falls through the cracks. And if we tackle that um, low gestational age under 22 weeks, we would solve almost 60% of the variation between white and black get from our town. So I, you're going to see that as a very big part of the work. And it is not just first year Cleveland working for moms. Last week, a local black led effort birthing beautiful communities received a $1 million grant from the Gunn Foundation to establish a birthing center in Cleveland's Huff neighborhood. The facility will employ black doulas and midwives and offer holistic services for expectant parents.